Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about properly mounting and aligning your magnifier behind a red dot or holographic sight. Now before we go putting the magnifier on the gun itself, we're going to want to make sure that we have it mounted to its flip mount properly. So there's going to be two screws, generally speaking, under most magnifiers. In the case of this Micro 6X here, and really all of our magnifiers in our lineup, it'll be just like this. In the box, you're going to see a shim or maybe even more than one shim that will go between the mount itself and the magnifier. That's going to be what dictates the height of the magnifier behind the red dot or holographic sight. So in the case of our UH-1 Gen 2 that we have mounted up here, it sits at a lower one-third co-witness height. And the shim being placed between the mount and the magnifier here puts the magnifier at a lower one-third co-witness height. So we always want to make sure whether or not we're using that shim, it's completely based upon what height our red dot or holographic sight is. We want to match them up properly. Once you've determined which shims you're going to be using, if any, between the mount and the magnifier, just make sure that you are using the right torque specs on these two screws to attach the optic to the mount. We recommend 20 inch pounds with just a dab of Loctite. Going over that value can potentially induce some alignment issues later on. 20 inch pounds is all you need. One important thing to mention before you go and torque down those screws, make sure that you have the magnifier in the orientation on top of the mount that you'll want it to be in when it's on the rifle. That's important because our magnifier's mount flips the magnifier to the side when we want to disengage it from being behind our optic. In this case, you can see that on our rifle, the magnifier would flip to the right side of the gun. If we wanted the magnifier to flip to the left side of the gun, we would just have to make sure that when we tighten the optic down on the mount, we're actually flipping it 180. Now, not everybody is gonna have the exact same setup we have here. In this case, the user of this rifle chose to add even further height to the UH-1 Gen 2 with one of these riser mounts on top of the Picatinny rail of the actual rifle. So we made sure that we matched that and we're going to mount the magnifier on top of the same type of riser. When it comes to mounting the magnifier on the rifle, it's an easy, straightforward process, especially when you have something like our Micro 6X or our Micro 3X, for example, with the quick release lever here. We adjust that to the proper tension for our rail and then we simply index it in place. As far as where the magnifier sits front to back in relation to your optic, there's not an exact spec on where it needs to be behind this optic to work properly. There's a pretty generous sweet spot there. The real thing you should consider and take into account is where you need to mount this magnifier in order to achieve the proper eye relief so that when you're in your comfortable shooting position, you're in the sweet spot of where this optic is going to be delivering the most optimal image. Again, in the case of the quick release lever here, once we've adjusted that lever so that it fits securely on our rail when cammed over, all we have to do is just cam that lever and we're ready to go. If we have a thumb screw or some other form of attachment to the rail, then just make sure that we're doing that to a good spec that's gonna hold it securely in place atop our rifle. In most cases, once the magnifier is mounted up on the rifle behind your sighted in red dot or holographic sight and they're at the same height, you should be ready to rock and roll and you shouldn't have to do anything else to align them properly. In rare cases, you may find that looking through the magnifier, again, with a sighted in optic, the reticle is not near the center. For whatever reason, it's off to the side, top, bottom, somewhere. We can make some final adjustments to the alignment with the magnifier using these turrets here. There's an elevation and a windage turret like you're used to on other optics, and that will help dial that in a little bit more to center up that reticle. Again, not something we foresee many people ever having to do, but it is there. So there you have it, folks. That's how you properly mount and align a magnifier behind a red dot or a holographic sight. If you have any questions about this type of setup or any of our products in general, you can always let us know in the comments below or via phone, email, social media, whatever works best for you. We always love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching these videos. We'll see you on the next one.